What is going on, All Terrain Nation? Today we've got we've got company, and we've got a lot of company because we're towing this base out of uh, out of the quarry pit, the sand pit, as it were, here in Michigan. And uh, kind of a strange thing that I've not seen reported on these things just yet is the truck got it got high centered, and it sounded like it was ripping a diff up when you like it was in mid shift. And well, we're towing this thing out of here, so uh, let's get to it. going can she go straight back is there anything behind her on, hold on, okay good, good. come on back oh turn the wheels crank it a uh, passenger there you, there you go there you go perfect okay you're good yep okay here we go neutral. just just nudge said uh, kelly you good neutral okay here we go go ahead kelly Get into it a little bit. There we go. It's a weird noise. Because it's not doing anything. Well, not how we wanted to, to end the day, but we are towing. Bound up, it was very weird. He bound up on a hill up here, high centered. And then it's like the transmission just will not go into uh, the correct gear. It's, it's the computer's freaking out thinking it's still in like a mid gear kind of thing. So, or mid shift from maybe high to low. So let's see, uh, let's get this thing out of here. stops it huh. I've, not, I've not read anything on the forums about it uh, these doing this at all it's kind of strange yeah um. so park everything else worked properly when you were coming down the hill park worked fine and um yeah or i mean uh, your brakes work fine yeah yeah, yeah there's nothing Too high, too high. Drive forward. All right, so it's the next day, and uh, no updates on this truck just yet, but I called my buddy with Luke with Lifestyle Off-Road because I remembered after we got this guy off the trail that he had had similar issues with his where it just, it, it just would not go. And that was what ended up happening with this vehicle is, it was like the transfer case was was like in between. It just did not know where it needed to be. And I don't know if the gentleman was trying to, when he got stuck, was trying to adjust his transfer case and, and put it in a different mode or what happened to this thing. Uh, by no fault was this the gentleman's. It's it's a it's a computer freak out is what's happening to these things. And it's very, very rare. I remember Luke with Lifestyle Off Road. His happened, he had it a couple months. It was a couple months old and it did it on a trail. And uh, he all, to get his to work basically, he would turn it off, turn it on, put it right to neutral, and try to get it into uh, two-wheel drive. And, and he said he had to do that step a few times and it ended up working with this gentleman's. It did not work that way very well. And well, we towed him off the trail, as you can see. Uh, just remember, when, in, when if you're new to off-roading, there is assumed risk to anything when you take a vehicle off-road. And also, remember, this is the first year of a brand new vehicle. So you're gonna get little weird quirks with that. So you just gotta kinda kinda go with it. We all wanted the newest vehicle and sometimes these little things, it's just things that they have to work out. And I'm sure Ford knows about this already and for 23s, I'm sure it's, it's dealt with, but 
it's just part of off-roading, right? Things things happen, and I want everybody to realize that it's just how it is. So whether it be two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, or these Broncos that we sometimes break when we drive, this is your All-Terrain Nation. I'm your host, David Boyd, and we're out. Peace, everybody. Love y'all. Uh, uh.